Hi everyone. Today we are going to be learning how to work with the famous avocado fruit, or as some people call it, the alligator pear. The avocado is highly, highly nutritious and something that you want to include as part of your daily diet for optimal health. Now, some people do sort of fear that they've heard that it's high in fat and high in calories, but when you are eating a whole food, a natural diet, all of this is actually a very, very good thing. The avocado, as I will share with you, is highly beneficial in all the right nutrients that are going to be supporting our health in so many different ways. So before we get into the process of how do we work with the avocado, let's talk a little bit about what can you expect in terms of its nutritional composition and why is this such a powerful food to include as part of your regular diet. For starters, yes, a medium sized or so avocado is about 300 calories. As part of a whole food salad, that actually is an excellent amount. But in general, uh, consuming a half or one avocado a day is considered fine as part of a whole foods natural diet. So aside from the calorie content, you can expect to find about 12 or 13 grams of fat in about half an avocado or about 25 grams in a full one. Now we have to understand that the fats in the avocado are extremely beneficial for our health. There are so many different uh, fatty acid benefits of the different types of fatty acids like oleic acid makes up pretty much half of the avocado's fat. What makes these fats so powerful is that a, they help to make your brain function properly. They help to build your cells. A lot of us forget or neglect to understand that our cells do need a fat composition in order to be built and work properly. They are also extremely beneficial for your heart health. Remember that fat, as long as it's the healthy fat, can actually decrease your risk of heart disease and improve your cardiovascular health. In the case of, again, the avocado's fat content, it is highly anti-inflammatory in nature, which is one of the major risk factors in inflammation for heart disease. So this also helps us on many different levels. The healthy fats also are vital to proper absorption of not just fat soluble vitamins, but a lot of the antioxidants, specifically carotenoids, that the avocado contains. Now, speaking of the antioxidants, avocados are extremely rich in a variety of different antioxidants, specifically from the carotenoid group. Now, carotenoids you may be familiar with from uh, foods like carrots. Well, the green fleshy part is actually extremely rich in a number of different carotenoids, one of them being lutein. And as we know today, lutein is extremely beneficial for proper eye health. So aside from brain health, heart health, eye health and being extremely anti-inflammatory, which just helps all parts of our health. The benefits of eating an avocado also include being anti-cancerous. And that is again, thanks to all these antioxidants that it contains. The avocado also can help us regulate our blood sugar. And so it really does uh, help to support our health on so many different levels and enhances our overall good health. And they are also rich in various vitamins and minerals. Uh, specifically, they are rich in vitamin K, vitamin C, some of the B vitamins like vitamin B5 and B6, as well as potassium. So you could really feel good about consuming these as part of your everyday diet. Let's focus on how to pick them at the grocery store. What I personally recommend as over the years that I have been buying avocados and eating them regularly, I've definitely uh, had my share of moldy or just basically bad avocados that had I known better, I would have made a better choice at the grocery store and not wasted some money. So at the grocery store, I always recommend picking a green avocado. The reason for that is you have a much, much higher chance that, well, actually almost guaranteed that it's not going to go bad unless of course you neglect it and don't eat it for, for the few days or the week or so. It has less risk of being bruised um, and already having some kind of mold growing inside of it, etc. So I always buy them green and allow them to ripen at home on my counter. I don't put them in bags or in cupboards. Some people do, and that's possible if you need them to ripen faster. I just wait, usually it's about two to three days, depending on how green it is. 
Now, once they do ripen, when do you actually catch it? This is actually very, very important. I do, first of all, leave them out on a counter in a good spot where I can actually see them every day, not somewhere in the corner where you're going to say, ah, oh, I forgot to eat the avocados and they're all very soft and moldy. So leave them in a spot that is quite convenient for you to see on a daily basis. And as soon as I see that they go dark brown or black, this is where I will gently touch them to see how firm they are. On the very first day, they will still be quite firm and I'm still going to let them go another day, perhaps two. But once I feel that they're gently soft, now I know you can't tell on the video how soft this one is, but it is just very, very gently soft. So if I, if I just squeeze it a little bit, I know that there is some soft tension there. Uh, whereas this one, not a chance. The green one, is the, they're just very hard. This is the point at which I recommend eating the avocados. This is where you're going to get the best flavor and the best nutrients and just an overall good uh, even texture when you're going to be adding it to different salads or, or different foods. If you do let it go, I would say maybe two days or more past this point, it is only going to continue getting softer. It is going to start taking on a type of fermented uh, flavor and there will be brown parts, black parts throughout it, and even possible moldy spots. So that's when you're really starting to miss out all the goodness, the wonderful taste, the, the delicious flavor, um, the texture, and the nutritional benefits, again, of the avocado. Because remember that nature really tells us, not ready, nutrients are not fully ready for us to take in, definitely ready, and then after over ready is, is not ideal either. Ones. Now you will notice that they come in sort of two shapes. Some are extremely round, almost like a ball, and some are more elongated like a pear. What I have found from my experience is that I always prefer the elongated pear ones because inside I have found the pit is actually much smaller and you get more fruit or flesh for what you got. So it's not always possible, but whenever possible, definitely look for the elongated ones. And most importantly, if you don't want uh, to waste money on an avocado and have them go bad, don't buy too many at once. Okay, so we are ready to start working with our avocados. So out of the ones that I have here on the counter, as you can see, three of them look like they are ready to be used. So what I would do is just basically touch each one to see what is the level of softness. Now this one is still pretty firm. This one is definitely soft and ready to go. And this one is pretty good to go as well. So we're going to be working with these two in terms of how to cut them and how to peel them, etc. So as always, with all produce that you bring home, be sure to always wash it thoroughly first. Now I'm going to demonstrate for you a few different ways of how you can work with your avocado, depending sort of on what you need uh, to make with it or how you need to use it in a different meal, and also depending on perhaps how you prefer. The first way that I'm going to show you how to work with the avocado is my personal favorite and the way that I use it most commonly. And that is to begin, of course, be careful as you are cutting, to slice it lengthwise all around, just like that. So I have a nice slice and how deep do I go? I go as deep as I can feel resistance to the pit. Now the avocado does have a big pit in the middle if you have never seen one or worked with one. So now that there's a slice right all around lengthwise down the middle, I'm going to take both ends and start to twist and it twists so gently that the two halves just come undone on their own. And that's what you can see inside this beautiful, beautiful fruit, usually a beautiful uh, shade of yellow going to green on the outer edges. Now, what do we do next? Well, first I start working with my half without the pit. It is interesting to note too that the carotenoids or the antioxidants are known to be most concentrated in that green part. And so we don't want to disturb that as much as possible or cut it out or lose it. You actually want to keep the yellow and that green part right next to the skin as much as possible. So what I do at this point is put the avocado half down on the board and slice it down half one more time. And then you will notice that when the avocado is just right, the peel comes right off, maintaining that beautiful green right under the skin all with it. If some piece, small section comes off on your peel, I usually do take that off, scoop it, and still use it in whatever uh, meal I am making. So there's one quarter. Again, I do the same on this end. And look how easily and beautifully that peels. Now, the riper the avocado, the less it's going to peel well. And that's why I do highly recommend 
making sure that you cut your avocados, of course, again, not at the green stage because they're not ready to be eaten and not when they're too soft or too ripe. You want them really when they're just on that first or second day of going black and just gently soft because that's when the peel comes off so beautifully. After the few days after that, the peel starts to become very dry and crumbly. Now I have my second half with the pit. How do we get that pit out? You could with the spoons try to wedge it out or try to cut it out. What I usually do is, I, as you can see here, I have a, a pointy knife. I take and put that pointy part in and then gently wedge it out. Same thing with this half. I will just slice it in half, peel it, and there we go. We have a beautiful avocado all ready to go in four quarters. Now what you do at this point is really up to you. If I'm making a salad, what I will do is take them in half one more time or into uh, threes depending on how big the avocado is and then dice them right into my salads like this. And they come apart beautifully. That's if I'm eating a salad. Now for any of you who enjoy perhaps some kind of a sandwich or you have some kind of an optimally healthy cracker and of course keep in mind those are very hard to find given all the processed food. But if you do eat something like that you may wish to enjoy slicing the avocado and placing it into a sandwich or again onto some kind of an optimally healthy cracker. You can also layer the avocado this way in different food ideas. So they slice very beautifully again when they are just the perfect ripeness. So we can slice them for different foods. Some people of course don't need to do any of this because they can throw the avocado. For example, if I'm making guacamole, I'll just throw the whole avocado like this into my blender and make the guacamole from there. What we can do with avocados, we're gonna talk about in a moment, but I want to show you one other way that you can uh, address working with an avocado. So let's cut open this one. Always start, no matter which way I'm going to work with it, always start the same way. So cut it down the middle, twist, and take apart the two halves. Now, for some people who do want this sort of cubed look, but don't want to go through the steps I did, or perhaps want to have a different way of going about it, you can gently take your knife and score the avocado within the the, the skin or the shell is quite, quite thick and quite hard, but of course don't go too deep to get into your hand. But you could feel if you go gently to the end of the skin and just score it like that inside. And once we are all done, what we can do is basically flip it. So you could start, start flipping it and then really they all just fall out as little cubes or chunks. So that's another option in how you can uh, get your avocado into cubes or chunks in a different way. And finally, the last way that you can eat an avocado, again, wedging out that pit gently, placing it out, is simply to take a spoon and enjoy it as is. And simply peel out by the spoonful and some people love eating their avocado just like out of a little bowl and directly into their mouth. So those are several different ways that you can access using the avocado and how to eat it. Now the next question is, so where and how are you going to eat it? What kind of meals or recipes can we make with them? Well, you've already heard me say that you of course can put them into salads and that's one of my personal favorite ways because they really invigorate salads to become whole meal ideas. So you've got your different, perhaps vegetables, maybe some other fruits, um, perhaps a source of protein like hemp seeds or some other nut or seed. That's one way, one of the easiest ways to incorporate an avocado into your life. Another way is to use it on different meal ideas or as a side to different meals. So experiment and just use them uh, pretty much in anything and everything. They really go great with almost any food as their taste is quite mild, slightly on the sweet side, but and generally speaking, quite mild, so they go really well with everything. Guacamole is another, of course, famous food that you may want to try using fresh avocados. It is absolutely amazing when you make your own homemade, and that'll be a recipe I'll be sharing in another episode of Healthitarian Living. And finally, raw food desserts from avocados. I've heard anything from uh, fudgesicle-like popsicles for kids that are optimally healthy and made just with avocados, with a little bit of maple syrup, etc. You could look up those recipes recipes to different um, cheesecake likes. Again, these are all raw vegan foods to different squares and, and different little balls and bars. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Bottom line, the avocado is extremely versatile. And again, for its nutrition and delicious taste and health benefits, something you want to include as part of your everyday diet. 
Now, last tip that I want to leave you with is what do you do if you have um, perhaps you only wanted to eat half an avocado or you have too much or you want to save some for later? The avocado does tend to, and we could see already on this one, it will start to oxidize quite quickly, going a little bit orange or brown. And some of them are already starting to show that. So to uh, store your avocado, first and foremost, you don't want to cut it up as much as possible. For example, if you know you're only going to eat half, store the other half with still its shell and if possible pit, the pit will actually help it stay longer and fresh and put it in a sealed container. Some people also sprinkle some lemon juice to prevent that oxidation or browning process. If you do make a meal with some avocados and you're storing that for later, please note again that they might turn to go a little bit gray or brown. Um, not that big of a deal, but hopefully you don't have too many of these leftovers because they do decrease the nutritional composition. And last but not least, you don't want to be cooking avocados. They are so rich in, again, all those beautiful nutrients like the vitamins, the minerals, the phytochemicals, the carotenoids, um, the antioxidants, all of those beautiful, beautiful nutrients for us that a lot of them will get destroyed if you heat process your avocado. So they are best eaten raw and as part of any meal, again, that you can think of and get creative in how you use your avocado. Thanks everyone for joining me and I'll see you next time.